folks. Dr. Umar Johnson recently was on uh, 105.1 FM out of New York, The Breakfast Club, with DJ Envy, Angela Yee, and Charlemagne the God. During the interview, Johnson talked about a whole range of issues that led to him uh, being the talk of black Twitter last week. Uh, and a lot of people were questioning his educa educational credentials. Now, people ask me, what can we expect from a Donald Trump White House for black America? And the answer is real simple. You can expect exactly what you got from a Obama White House. Absolutely nothing. Black people know they're not American, but they will fight like hell to protect that identity because they don't want to be identified with who they really are, and that's being African. As long as you have a skill, you can always feed your family. But if all you got is college degrees, you might end up in an unemployment line. I'm a psychologist. Ain't too many black people running around looking for psychologists to reveal all the skeletons in their closet. All right, folks, uh, joining us right now, Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, for first and foremost, come back. I would argue the reason black men marry white women is because they wish they were white themselves. And having the white man's prize, his queen, is a psychological symbol to myself that I am equal to him. Uh, welcome back to the show. Uh, for first and foremost, um, uh, it, it was amazing looking at this whole reaction. I mean, I'm sitting mm -hmm. here, uh, you, uh, you know, again, people asking all kinds of questions, things are blowing up. Uh, and so many people jumped on saying, he's not a real doctor, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, where did you graduate from and you mm -hmm. got your PhD? Mm -hmm. My undergraduate education was from Millersville University. Uh, three degrees, pop, political science, psychology, master's in school psychology. Subsequent to that, Pennsylvania certification as a school psychologist, which I've been for almost 20 years. After that, I got my educational leadership master's degree and principal certificate from Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And I earned my doctorate degree from the Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, American Psychological Association approved program, one of the top psychology training programs on the East Coast. Six degrees in all, and anyone can lift up the telephone and call and verify those degrees. Statement. Uh, the family also addressed this here. Uh, you talked about taking over uh, the buildings or the land of a black of a black school that was shut down. Yes, HBC, sir. St. Paul's College. Uh, and you were raising money for it. First of all, how much money has been raised, and what's the status of that project? Well, St. Paul's has been sold. Approximately three to five months ago, I was told by the auction company in charge of the sale that it was been sold to a developer. So how much money was raised, what the people, people gave, all the people gave, how much was raised and what's the status of that? $700,000 and the status is we're still looking for a school and the status is my start date for FDMG will be 8-21-18 or if at all it may be delayed to 8-21-19 which is the anniversary of the Nat Turner War. We say looking for a school, why not start a charter school? Then you can start a school. Because charter schools are owned by the state and I'm a Pan-Africanist. I believe what is to be done for black people must be done by black people. Why do I want a charter school? So you want, so you want a private school? Exactly. Independent law, school. Lauren. So you want, so you want a private school? Exactly. Independent law, school. Lauren. Um, so the question of <laughs> interracial marriage, I yes, mean, come on, man. You're too smart for this. We got 43, for what? we got 43 million black people in this country. And that we got over what? 190 million white people. You're going to sit here and say that if you a black person, black black or white or person get married, a black person, a white person get married, one can't understand the other person's struggle. You've seen, you've seen Tim Wise, right? Nope. You've seen Reverend Wallace. You've seen white people who understand racism Sy very well. That doesn't the mean they're going to thing, do anything the other about thing it. That is obviously well, true. Well, is they understand racism when you see things. Like the murder of Medgar Evers, like the murder and, of Martin Luther King. They understand and, racism. And what fine. did they do they about it? They understand us gaining just fine, and that's why murder happened. Based on right? what? So okay, this is the problem that I have right now with what she's doing. Look, I am not an advocate of uh, Dr. Umar Johnson as per se, but I do think that a lot of things that he says and a lot of ways in which we should conduct ourselves are in line with some of my beliefs. Um... I'm not going to not have respect for somebody who has an interracial kid. Um, tons of people do. There's nothing wrong with it. I do myself. But at the same time, I understand what he's trying to say, that we need to try harder to uh, keep, not necessarily... See, if you really pay attention to what his narrative has been, it has been bloodlines. So he's basically trying to say that 
you know, we need to try to keep our bloodlines so we could populate. You understand? Like that that's really what he's trying to say. And she just actually helped his argument when she said uh, 43 million blacks or 49 million blacks and 193 million whites that we really do need to have more black babies with black mothers and black fathers but I'm not going as far as to say what he's saying how she's hurt in her position in my opinion is she's arguing she's not debating she asked him a question and before he had an opportunity to answer said question, she then tried to ask another question after she gave her own narrative. Let's just rewind that for a moment. Black person, black person get married. A black person, a white person get married. One can't understand the other person's struggle. You've seen, it's not you've about seen Tim Wise, right? Group. You've seen Reverend Wallace. You've seen white people empowerment. who understand racism. She asked the question. He tried to answer. Then, before he can answer, she starts giving a narrative. Right? And then she's going to ask another question. Very well. That doesn't the mean we're going to do anything about thing. it. That's not how you have positive dialogue. That's not how you have dialogue with someone. You don't ask them a question, then tell them something, and then ask them another question before they have the opportunity to answer the first question. You don't do that. That's very, very, that's just not very trustworthy. That's, that's, that's not the way that you have a, a even dialogue with somebody. Like, you don't talk to somebody. She's talking at him right now. She's not talking with him or to him. And it's obviously true. Is they understand racism when you see things. You seen that? Even uh, Roland Martin noticed it. We're gonna just people who understand time. racism this, very well. That doesn't the mean we're gonna thing, do anything the other about thing it. That is obviously well, true. Is well, they understand racism when you see things like the murder of Medgar Evers, like the murder and, of Martin Luther King. They understand and, racism. And what fine. did they do they about it? They understand us gaining just fine, and that's why murder happened. Based on right? what? So the idea that somehow a white person can't understand our struggle? I no could care less what they understand. I'm no asking way. you, what have they done systematically he already to told improve you that. the opportunities he of white folks? He, he did not didn't. tell oh, me yes, that. Did tell, he, he did no, not he tell me that. You're going to tell me that guys like Tim Wise and Reverend Wallace don't understand What about Tim America? Wise? They don't understand. See, this is why it's hard for people who don't necessarily agree with Dr. Umar Johnson to just wholesale say this guy's a complete wacko because he gets on TV with people who they're not coming to have a discussion they're not coming to have a dialogue with him they're coming to try to discredit him they're coming to try to to try to uh, cause damage to his image they're coming to try to you know be funny they're not coming there to try to have a dialogue with him so right now he's winning this whole entire back and forth that he has with these guys, he's winning. The only person who he was actually losing to was Roland Martin. Roland Martin, in my opinion, kind of gave him a little spanking. Not too hard, but gave him a little spanking. That's why I played the clips earlier and I did not talk to them. Talk through them, pardon me. Roland Martin gave him a little spanking. These guys... Understand racism. He articulates racism. So all, what has he done to There are no white people that understand race in America. There's, there's, no, there's no, no white, white person. There's, there's no America. white people that understand second. race in America. There's, there's not a white person. Them going to use There's not a white person in America who has ever worked to systematically eliminate the white privilege that they benefit from vis-a-vis -vis your own you you Now that is facts. That is one hundred percent facts. You see what he does? He has her where he wants her. She's just talking crazy. And she latched on to something that he can state a 100% fact on. So he's winning. He even rubbed his hands. <laughs> oh, 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 we're not going to go there. We're not, I, I have to him a liar cool. and you're cool. Well, it's a fact that you're lying. It's a fact that you're lying. It's a fact that you're lying. I understand you want to say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. Say that. Let's just be clear. Dude is a cool. No, everybody, one second. Several things I don't allow. I don't allow the N-word. I don't allow cool. We can talk to one another and disagree. But I do not use racial epithets against and black that's people. Fine, but he called no, me no, a liar. No, 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 no. So I think about these great ra the racial epithets will not be used on this show. And that's fine. By anybody. But how we talk no, no, to each other. No, you can say whatever you want. But no racial epithets will be used on this show about black people to black people. Eugene, your question. So, 
from your paradigm, from your perspective, civil rights act isn't an act of, of white folk stepping up on behalf of black folk. Current criminal justice reform legislation movement isn't a current act of white folk stepping up on behalf of black folk. Folk that funded the civil rights movement in the, in the 50s and 60s isn't an act of white folk stepping up on behalf of black folk. Okay, first of all, this guy right here, he might be up on that panel, but I can tell you personally that no, those none of those things are white people stepping up to help black people. There were a lot of underlining motives and it was just latched on to that's what the we was able they a lot of different races of people a lot of different people use the civil rights movements to push their own agendas. Okay? This black guy right here, whatever his name is, he should know that. I'm sorry, as an American, because I define myself as an American, sure an African American. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I live in a country that moves forward together. And I say that as a Republican. We move forward together. Yes, we have individual struggles. Yes, we have struggles. I'm talking yes, about we have, yes, no, no. Yes, we have We have We have systematic. We have now, he's been saying the same thing from the gate. He said, what has white people do to help black people out systematically? Not individually, not that one black person or that two black people or, uh, you know, or, you know, this race. I mean, this branch of white pe black people. This he said, systematically, what have they done to change the system in order to help black people change the system? These guys are not giving any answers to anything. All they're doing is finding different ways to attack him. This is not intelligence, y'all. This is this is absolutely not intelligence. Oh, oh, it's it's not it's we have in, in yeah. fifteen seconds. They end. We have systematic struggles, and together as a country, we're moving forward to defeat those struggles. Really? So, based on what you said, I want you to give me examples of white folk, not individuals, but systematically. Like individuals. Excuse me. Like uh, excuse me. Wait a second. I know you can't wait one second answer, but one second answer. Can I finish? No, no. Okay, I'm going. She knows that there is no, there is no group that have systematically. She knows that he's right. You understand? She knows that he's right, and she knows the other guy doesn't have the the requisite intelligence in order to be able to. To combat this answer or this question. Okay. You cannot name anything systematically done ever in this country by white people to equal the playing field for black folks. The Civil Rights Act, Congress literally sits behind us. The Civil Rights Act, the Voting Rights Act, are you of them? Are you of them? I'm gonna rewind that a little. Okay. Look at her when he says the Civil Rights Act and he's going crazy about it. She knows that the Civil Rights Act doesn't mean shit. Like I said, a lot of people piggyback that. Congress literally sits behind us. The Civil Rights Act, the Voting Rights Act. Are you aware? 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 is a little misleading, not from you, but from this dialogue right here. Okay. Uh, you know, it's one thing to sympathize with the struggle. It's another one to be, to empathize with the struggle. Very different. When you talk about marriage being a political choice, and that one of the things, arguments that you made that I tend to agree with is that, that a, if you don't marry a black woman, then she can never support and comfort and value your day-to-day -day struggle as a black man. Uh, that being said, uh, I do think that the, the level of the rhetoric that you use in regard to your Pan-Africanism uh, is, um, is, is difficult for many of us, quote, in the mainstream to get our arms around. But this issue about black men and white women in the civil rights struggle is not a new discussion. My mother was a civil rights activist in Chicago, and she would often uh, complain privately that one, you can't sleep black, you can't sleep white and talk black, Thank if you, you will. And Thank that's you. always been in the American struggle, American, African American struggle with ourselves. Yes, the other thing is that we struggle with our own psychology about okay. self love and okay. otherwise. Okay. And if we can get our arms around that, that does make sense. Okay? But you would have to say that you know 190 million people. Hold on, I'm gonna rewind that for a second. I want y'all to look at the faces of these fools right there. Okay, the guy that's speaking right now, the guy that just spoke, he's so on point. You understand what I'm saying? He's actually having a dialogue. This is what the other two people there were supposed to be doing, but they were not. 
This is what Roland Martin was doing. They're having a dialogue. We have three people there having the dialogue there who don't necessarily have the same belief system, who don't necessarily aren't on the same line, uh, uh, side of the fence. And then we have two people there who are just there to just say just random craziness and for for whatever their purposes might be to push whatever agendas they are. Homegirl, uh, I don't know her name, but homegirl asks his questions, don't wait for answers. That's just, I mean, I don't want to be uh, stereotypical, but she's asking questions and then she's not allowing for any answers to be given. She's asking questions, telling you stuff, and then asking more questions. I'm not trying to be stereotype. I'm saying that that's what she's doing. Dude, he's asking questions that he doesn't even know the answers to himself. And then when you ask him a question, he's given answers that he don't even understand he said the civil rights movement anyone i'm not a scholar i'm pretty sure all everybody up there has I, i'm nowhere near the intelligence level of these guys up there they obviously are a lot smarter than me i'm doing youtube videos they're on tv well that that doesn't mean they're smarter than me but they're on political shows or whatever and you know whatever but <laughs> so self-deprecating but the point is is this anybody that knows anything about the civil rights movement know that and i'm not going to call out the different races that got involved with the civil rights movement or the reasons in which they got involved with the civil rights movement but anybody that knows anything about the civil rights movement know that there are other races other than black people that got involved with the civil rights movement because they wanted to help push their agenda the civil rights movement wasn't initially called the civil rights movement for one, okay? It was given that name in order to be able to engulf more than just black people under its umbrella. A lot of people don't know this. It was not initially the civil rights movement. That's one. Two, then he points at Congress. I want to know what Congress has done. Because his question is, who's done is something systematically to help black people? Congress has not done anything systematically to help black people. So this guy has no idea what he's talking about. He's an absolute moron as far as this is concerned. I'm pretty sure he's the smartest guy in the room of the places. But right now, he is not the smartest guy. He is the, the cameraman, probably knows more about what's going on with the topic that they're discussing than he does. He's completely lost. Look at his body language. You can tell he's not usually on TV. Look at her body language. It's just they're not comfortable. Look at the other three men's body language. Look at their body language. They look like they're at a spades table. Everybody else look like they're there to do business. Body language. That's two. Three, they're talking at Dr. Umar Johnson. He's used to people talking at him. He's used to it. The reason why Roland Martin in the beginning, that's why I showed the clips in the beginning, was throwing them off balance and off guard had more to do with the fact of he was having a dialogue with him. There's a difference. And that last dude that talked, he was just so on point with almost every single thing that he said. He definitely did not necessarily agree with Dr. Umar Johnson. But what he did do was he gave validity to the statements that he was making that were correct and made sense. He didn't just uh, try to, you know, act like they didn't exist like the other two panelists. Ah, the other thing is that we struggle with our own psychology about yeah. self-love and otherwise. And if we get our arms around that, that does make sense. Okay? But you would have to say... That's funny, because when he said that, then he turned and he looked at the other two panelists like... <laughs> Yo, body language is a mofo. He turned and looked at the other two panelists. And now you see that face right there? He's like... I didn't make myself look stupid. Yeah, but you know 190 and, million and, people. But you're being too. One, one second. You one second. Have... Look, now, he's trying to talk back to, to, to speak with homeboy, and she immediately interrupts. I am not trying to be uh, stereotypical, but she immediately interrupts once again, not allowing for him to talk, even though it's not her turn to talk. Once again. Claim that. One second. Don't You'd have to claim No, go ahead and respond. Go ahead. And I agree with, 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 with my brother's Scott. comments, mm -hmm. brother Scott. He brought up the civil rights bill. 
But what he did not talk about in relation to the Civil Rights Bill is there were two words included in that bill that ultimately served to take away from black people what that bill was intended to deliver. They added gender and they added sexual orientation. And as a result of that, white women and homosexuals have been able to strip black America from the intended gains of the Civil Rights Act. So there was still racism in that bill, if you will study that history. So Umar, your question was, did anyone, has anyone black ever systematically done, I mean, has no. anyone white ever Yo, look how he looking at her. He is so pissed, cause it, <laughs> it's like this bitch. He's like this bitch. I, I freaking had the dope ass comment. I was waiting for him to come back with some dope ass reply. We was about to have some dope ass TV, and you just interrupted it. Systematic. I've done anything. Systematic. Systematic. White America. So LBJ, every, LBJ what, would be the answer for that. No, because that's did, the government. No, I don't think you. That's heard a the systematic question. move. No, you didn't hear the question. I what has no you did not. No, yeah, you didn't. Did. Yeah, you're did. so quick to defend white yeah, folks that you're not listening. No, I'm not trying I'm to defend white folks. 45 seconds. <laughs> so reset the question and give an answer. Okay. Got 45 right, seconds. Give an answer. The question was, mm -hmm. what has white America done? Right. Not individuals. <laughs> Systematically, not individuals. cannot. You what won't even let me finish. Yeah, because you're not in love with white folks. You won't even let me finish. Point on everything. Finish literally three times. 20 seconds. There is no bigger system than even 20 seconds, I'll finish. No, and in 20 seconds, I would say that the panel that you have here. <laughs> who are extremely intelligent do mm -hmm. not represent the everyday black man and woman struggles and then because of that they cannot articulate and you represent 43 million people I in this country <laughs> if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button if you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes please leave a comment all comments are appreciated whether positive or negative thank you very much and enjoy your day and remember Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.